Hey guys, Troy from I Am Connected. Hope you're well. I just wanted to drop in really quick um, web class, master class, where I wanted to talk about the brainwave states and how understanding them will change everything for you. Like you'll understand like why uh, and where stress, anxiety, overwhelm, you know, a sense of loneliness, even depression, uh, where, it, where it arises and, and what it does to actually diminish our day-to-day -day performance. And then I want to look at what you can do to access greater levels of flow, productivity, purpose, greater sense of meaning, uh, intuition. And so fundamentally what we're talking about is being on day to day, ongoing, and being able to cultivate that at will. This is something that I, I learned around when I was learning around the different brainwave states. And for me, like meditation has been a big part of my life. And so understanding how to consciously control my brainwave states is fundamentally at the heart of what meditation is. So I wanted to share with you today what the brainwave states were and and so that you can see for yourself like how freaking powerful this is. So like just, just jump in. So like from being wide awake to being sound asleep throughout a 24 hour cycle, we move through different brainwave states. And there's the five predominant ones, five. Um, there's delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. And these are measured in hertz, like through an EEG machine, EEG device. So zero to five, uh, zero point, sorry, point five to three is delta, theta is four to seven, alpha eight to 12, beta 13 to 34, and gamma is 35 plus ongoing. And so I'm gonna explain what these are uh, because in doing so, it'll help you to highlight where most of us are at and most people are at. I'm gonna start a beta. Beta is like an awake state, a doing state, state we're in when we're multitasking. But what happens when we multitask? Our attention gets fractionated. And as business owners, you know, there's so many things pulling on our attention externally and internally that um, it's easy to find ourselves with our attention fractionated. And when our attention's fractionated, we have low output, low quality of work. And I know as a business owner or a leader, you appreciate what I'm saying. Um, and because what, what happens then is we start accumulating stress and anxiety. Uh, we feel busy, but we're not really being effective. We tend to be more reactive. Um, so, um, and mistakes can occur because we're just like not focused, we're unable to focus because our attention's all over the place. And, and we tend to feel overwhelmed. It's very much a mind dominated state, like that narrative sense of self that we have, that noise in our head, that ongoing dialogue that just it, it becomes amplified and it can be really nasty at times. So it's very much a mind dominated state. And like, it can, in this state we tend to worry more. And the thing is like, the modern day living is forcing us more and more into this state. And it's so easy to get stuck in this state. From like the moment you get into work, the distractions and interruptions of the day start and, and they just accumulate until you get to the end of the day and you, you're frazzled, right? And often, like for some people, the only way to get out of that is to numb it through drugs and alcohol. And if you're unable to regulate your state or, or release this um, build up of beta brain waves, then you take that into your sleep cycle so that it affects your sleep, it affects your ability to be able to go to sleep or you could wake up in the middle of the night. Bing, the mind kicks in and you're in anxiety, thinking about all the stuff you're worrying um, in the middle of the night and able to get back to sleep. And so then you wake up tired the next day and comes this nasty cycle that perpetuates itself. But throughout like a, a normal sleep cycle, we, we go from like beta being awake down and as it get, gets close to nightfall, um, we start a build up of beta, um, alpha brain waves and then, um, and then slowly move down into theta and delta and then up and then essentially we cycle in about 90 minute increments until the morning and then we come up out of alpha. So typically in the morning, we have this glow of alpha and alpha is like um, a single focus. Um, we, we, we tend to feel flow because serotonin is released and we're, because we're focused on a single task. It's the same feeling we get when we watch a movie or reading a good book where we're just engrossed in that. We're just, that's our world. And we find early in the morning when there's no distraction and interruptions or late in the evening after the distractions and interruptions are finished, we can really drop into this state so it's great for high output, high quality work, increased productivity. We have a greater sense of well-being, like I said, because uh, serotonin is released. But we are focused on a single task. I'm going to talk about um, problem solving, um, 
creativity and new ideas in a minute because it actually links back to gamma. Actually, I'll talk about it now. So when we have a, a higher propensity of gamma, what it happens is um, gamma is like a short, sharp burst where it tends to be linked to creativity because what will happen is we'll, it, it's preceded by alpha. So we'll be in this alpha state and then being in alpha, we relaxed and little bits of data start coming together and then boom, you'll have a gamma spike new idea and a aha moment and insight. Like I have friends that say having best ideas in the shower or best ideas on the toilet or out walking or at the gym. It's because you, you know, you're, you're in this alpha state, you've, you, you're, you're relaxed and then bits of data come together and then boom, gamma spike. And so um, high, when, you, when we also have high density of gamma in, in our brains, it can be linked to higher states of consciousness as well. That's a conversation for another day. Excuse my spelling. Consciousness. Um, so, I know that's not spelled right, but I'm going to leave it. Um, it's really, really powerful. And then if we drop down into theta, um, we really have um, an absence of the mind, the narrative self. We have an internal quiet. When I talk about you know the purpose conversation with people, I say you can't think your way to your purpose. Most people are looking for purpose here in this beta state. But the reality is in that beta state, the mind's making too much noise for us to be able to hear. We all have an instinct and intuition, like our, a seed of potential that we're born with, but most of us don't know how to access it. But it's being in, in this theta state, internal silence, stillness, that we hear our intuition. We have a greater sense of knowing. We can hear our purpose. Like you get, it comes to you as through inspired thoughts. And so we have a greater sense of connection to self. So we, that loneliness that we can feel when we're stuck here, it's absent because we, we, we realize that we connect to not only ourselves, but to all living things. So we start to perceive reality differently. And it's in a state where we can actually start influencing or pre-programming the, the brain, the mind as well. So it's really, really powerful. Um, below that is Delta. Delta is the deep dreamless sleep. Really, really powerful for um, rest, recovery, regeneration. It's like two hours a night we spend here when we're, when we're healthy at least, thereabouts. And in doing so, it's like we park our body for two hours a night, it regenerates. And um, in some of my advanced classes, I, we talk about the different states of consciousness from um, the, the waking state, which is linking these two here. Um, and then into the dreaming state, which is linking these two here. And then in the, the, the deep sleep state, which is linking these two states here. And then beyond that, below that, behind that is Tyria, uh, which is source. Um, uh, depends how you look at it, but it's like where, where we actually come from. Because below 0.5 brain frequency, which is the energy level in the brain, is um, you know zero. And when we've got no energy in the brain, effectively we're dead. And so beyond that, um, so when we go into this state, sleep state each night, we don't actually know what happens to our consciousness, but we do know that just the other side of that is, is death. It's an interesting area that we're exploring to see if our consciousness does interact with source because we, we, are, we have no recollection of what actually happens. Conversation for another day, um, but I'd love, it's something that we're actively um, researching. So you can see here like, a lot of the challenges that we face are because like stress, overwhelm, depression, anxiety, um, poor sleep is because we're stuck here in this beta state. We can consciously learn how to cultivate alpha and theta and a whole range of inner game strategies, outer game strategies and technologies that we use to do that. So I wanna invite you, if you are someone that is um, being challenged by sleep, looking for greater levels of performance, um, looking to cultivate these states. You know, if you're someone that wants more flow, more creativity, greater sense of well-being, greater sense of connection to self, purpose, less stress, anxiety, overwhelm, poor sleep, you know, to, and just um, to show up with high levels of productivity and performance each day, we know where it happens. We can measure it as a metric. We are doing that through tech, uh, and we can work with you to cultivate this on day to day. So. If you are someone that's stuck here, reach out, like reach out, fill out the survey below. We have a limited number of people that we can work out, work with, but if you qualify, we'll get back to you and we'll organize a time to connect and tell you more. Any questions, um, 
iamconnected.com is a great place to go. Otherwise, fill in the, the survey below and uh, let's get started. Big love, thank you.